Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to episode 25. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, Alien Aura. We watched the latest Alien short, as always. Uh, what did you think of this short? It was better than the last one, but it's just kind of underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, all. it felt like it got restricted by the time. Like, I was I was kind of excited to see the fight with the big alien, but uh, then it got cut short. I was like, Damn. Well, there's one more short left, and um, that does have an adult alien in it. I do know that for a fact. Oh, boy. Hopefully they saved the best for last. Uh, <laughs> Want to talk about that Endgame leak? It's just a generic superhero movie. Like, yeah, Oh, oh, I mean, oh wait, we're, spo- we're going to spoil Endgame, by the way. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, so... Th- th- all right, so if you don't give a shit, here's a quick rundown. Thor looks like Aquaman. Captain America fights a clone. Uh, they have this <laughs> army to fight Thanos. Uh, Hulk gets, like, a red version of the gauntlet, and the end Spider-Man can fly for some reason. Uh, probably- just, watch Glass and un- just watch Unbreakable and Glass and Slit instead. Moving on. Yeah. Um, each- oh, <laughs> yeah, East Trails trilogy. You watch that much, much better. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Biho, I want to introduce the film you picked, uh, Dead Girl. I picked Dead Girl from 2006 or 8. It's 2008. It's 2008. Um, um, the reason I picked the film is because it's a, re- it's a very interesting, unique kind of take on zombies. It's not like, oh, everybody's a zombie, we have to survive kind of thing now. It's more of a psychological burner of yeah. two immature this- kids that stumble upon something greater than them. Yeah, I thought this it's like, we had a really cool concept, but it felt really tame. Like It, was, was, it was done better in um, Masters of a Horror Episode 4, Jennifer. It's much yeah. better done in that. There, was, there was lots of cool concepts like they could, like, about um, the ethics of it, and it doesn't really go super well. It doesn't actually, it just really don't go a lot. It's just the guy trying to go against the the, the villain um, acts like a cartoon so, I, with his I like the early uh I like the earlier parts of the movie where it's like all psychological and like it's kind of creepy in a way. Yeah, that part was good. Then the, the rest, like honestly, those parts outside with the characters' regular life is so fucking boring. I was like, <sighs> basically, um, the story of the film is uh, these two teenagers uh, are best friends apparently, and uh, they stumble upon a dead body in the back of like a. Uh, a same asylum and she's chained down but she's not exactly dead um and it's revealed that she's some sort of meta zombie or like some kind of like i guess new kind of zombie and then it, it's got a lot of sexual undertones to it and i think that's the main metaphor of the movie is uh mm-hmm. don't become obsessed with something like sex it just yeah. never ends well Honestly, yeah, i've been thinking like other ways i would tackle it like i would probably tackle it for seconds of the girl we would maybe see her trying to break free or we could see it, like, grow into, like, a big, massive tycoon, big, massive business. Like, they alluded they were going to have that, but then they, they got short. But oh, and, imagine um, imagine how the madness where you see, like, a big find of meta-zombies, these sex lays. That um, would be insane. Back me up. Um, I guess that would kind of go the route of our normal zombie film, you know, I'm everybody becomes really a zombie. Dumb. No, it wouldn't, because it's not taking over. It's a really twisted business. Basically. Oh, you mean like where they just turn people into zombies for profit? Yeah. And oh, yeah, I could see that working, I guess. Yeah. And, I don't know, maybe it would cause, like, a, like a, a, if screwing them would cause, like, a weird disease to get passed over, like an STD. Like, but there's well, I figured out the end, and, um... So you know how the ending, uh, the gr- guy's girlfriend died, but she was, she, but she turns into a zombie girl. I know who tied her up. It was the main character himself to preserve her. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Also, I really feel, also the thought the violence was really tame. Like, the most violent thing was the guy's cock get bitten off. I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think we actually see it. It's just. The, well, yeah, um, it was an indie film, so they couldn't really show yeah. it, I guess. Yeah, these types. Should be banned from festivals. What was? What was the budget on this? Let me see. It wasn't that high, but it was it was pretty good and for an indie film. It doesn't film, show the budget opinion. on Wikipedia. So. <laughs> I do know it was definitely indie, though. Yeah. Um. um crap! Why are these discussions so damn short these days? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, there's nothing I could really do about that, though. I'm not really yeah. an in-depth speaker. Yeah, I, um, I don't know. Maybe with my next pick will get better. Yeah. Um, yeah. If, unless you have anything else to say, uh, let me pull up the You can Q just go on to your pick. I want, I want to see what you picked. All right. Well, we got to do Q&A first, and we got a question. It's, uh, let's see, did anyone ask anything else? Okay, we got a question from, actually, wait, let me put the timestamp. Okay, so we got a question from You're a Faggot, who says, You're a faggot, you're a faggot, you're a faggot, you're a faggot, you're a faggot. Not a question, next. <laughs> yeah, it's just your, so uh, how do you feel about being told you're a faggot? <laughs> Sure, well, uh, using that as an insult in 2019 when sexuality is such an abnormal thing now, it's like, fuck it, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. But, uh, alright, I got a movie, it's pretty fantastic, I think we might be able to get a long discussion of it. So, Brandon Scott Hill, have you ever seen Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter, and Spring? I have not, but it sounds epic. Yes, it is. Alrighty, so uh, hopefully we'll go back to. Wait, can you do? Can you give me a synopsis on the story? Real um, quick? it's about a boy under care of a train, like an apprentice, a Buddhist monk, and we see his life go on through the decades, as shown through the seasons. Ah, so kind of like how Stephen King did it with his uh different seasons anthology book. Uh, I I don't. Have Similar to concept to that. Oh, that, that was the thing? Yeah. That Peter? I don't know about that. So, uh... Okay, I guess we'll... See. Alright, see you next time for Spring. Cringe! Bye. Yeah, <laughs> bye.